Good morning, everyone. Welcome on our webinar. I can see that our host, our trainer is already here. Nice to see you, Christian. Thank you for joining us. Okay, Hi. so good morning. Uh, we can see people are joining. Uh, a lot of people already here on the training. So let me uh, quickly start uh, with some housekeeping information and then I will just give the floor uh, to our trainer. So my name is Paula Milewska. I'm a customer success manager for our region. And for today, we prepared for you a webinar about database novel. Uh, today, we will um, go a little bit deeper into the discussion about how you can make the most of the solution. And Christian will uh, go through uh, a lot of very interesting topics uh, with you today. We hope that at least some of you joined last week's session. If you haven't had the chance to join last week's webinar, I will uh, send to you a follow-up email and I will uh, include recording from both another webinars, okay? So please be with me. I will send to you a follow-up email. You will receive information about recordings and also information about how to get certificates. And now I would like to introduce our trainer. So uh, Christian is our expert on engineering solutions. And he's, uh, he's very interested in how to help engineers uh, solve problems. And this will be our today main topic. Uh, he used to work at Elsevier with, um, with uh, corporate uh, clients, but also with academic and government clients. And this is very broad experience that he's bringing uh, to the session today. So uh, welcome our expert and the floor is yours. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thanks, Paula. Thanks for the introduction. I'm happy to be uh, here again with you. And uh, yeah, another session on a novel today. I hope that some of you indeed uh, joined last week. So last week we covered the basics. So I uh, introduced novel to most of you and uh, gave you an overview on all the different functionalities and tools that are available for you. Today's focus is hmm, slightly different. So today we try to get our hands on. So as I said last, last week, if you like, you can uh, search along with me and it's also meant to be interactive. That means I will in the beginning give you some basic information again, because I expect also that some of you never worked with novel, never heard of novel. So as, an, as, a, as a good basis for that. And afterwards we have really a workshop like uh, setup. I will present something to you, a workflow. And then I will ask you afterwards to, um, yeah, to replicate, to duplicate that workflow slightly different. And then I will also ask you to provide with, uh, provide, the answer in the chat, for example. So that's not a must. Otherwise, if you don't have access to novel, for example, feel free to just watch uh, what we're doing here together today. And maybe you want to also watch the recording uh, from last week if this is really absolutely new to you. So Paula briefly introduced me already. So my name is Christian Via, already for a long time with Elsevier in the engineering and geoscience portfolio. And if you have any questions afterwards, uh, if everything is uh, set up well, you should see my screen already. Paula, is that correct? Can you see my screen? Yes, perfectly well. Thank you. Perfect, good. So then you will also see my email address on the c.vietlcv.com. Originally from uh, Germany, now living in the Netherlands for uh, roughly 12 years. And yeah, uh, I'm trying to help uh, students, researchers, but also an engineer in their professional uh, careers and to find uh, high quality information and uh, yeah, save time, save energy and make the best out of their uh, projects uh, or research for example. So, okay, before we um, start, and again, I will start with a little, with a couple of slides and with a little background information and then we go directly into the platform and then we uh, perform some searches there. And I will um, share here their workflow and then I will ask you to um, duplicate it. I also prepared a uh, poll in the beginning because I really want to get a feeling on how many of you already worked with the novel. And if everything is working well, you should see a pop-up now asking you, did you use novel before? And we have three 
options here. So the first one would be, no, I never used Novel before. And the second option is, yes, I used Novel a few times, for example, project-based or in a, in a capstone project, for example, or just uh, during studying, but maybe also in research, if you're looking for materials or substances, that could be something. And the third option is, yes, I use Novel often weekly and uh, we see I leave it open for a few more seconds here and see where we are so for now i see most of you are really first time users so then it's a good thing that i will also give you background information novel what can you expect um, of novel of the use so okay so let's end the poll then we run it for a minute and i also want to share the results with you so you see Okay, most of you never used Novel before, and uh, in a few, they use Novel a few times, for example, um, project based. Great, thank you very much for participating. So we will um, move on now. And if you joined last week's uh, session, then you will uh, recognize this slide. And I just want to emphasize here also for, for those who never used Novel, that is an excellent way to start your research if you're looking for information on a topic that you're not yet familiar with. Novel could be really a starting point or as most of you probably use uh, Google, for example. And I want to illustrate that, that Google is not always your first choice. Although there's very good information on Google, it takes you a long time to get to the world. To this information because you're missing a proper filter set you do not always know if it's just an opinion somebody posted or if it's really reliable um, information it was vetted or you're just uh, looking for information like here on metal fatigue and you get um yeah a computer game for example again i told you last week that i'm very happy with this result because i like gaming once in a while but this is of course not something you would use in a study project or research, or even later in your career in the corporate sector, for example, this is not what you're looking for. And also be aware of what's out on the internet. I know many of you know that already. Not everything is reliable, ready to be used, because if we just take random information off the internet, worst scenario that can happen, health, safety, and environmental issues can occur. And by all means, we want to avoid those. So now there's also an excellent resource. If you have questions around health, safety, and environmental uh, yeah, issues, then you can also consult Novel for that. Type in your, uh, your question, your keywords, and you will find something there. So uh, keep in mind, uh, every, not everything that's on the internet is it's a reliable source. Make sure um, if you found something that you go into a more scientific tool like Novel, like Science Direct, like Scopus, for example, but also Engineering Village with Compendix is definitely one resource dedicated to engineers that could help you with your, your decision making, for example, and especially then Compendix with, uh, with your research. Okay. Um, I also showed this slide last week. So to remind you that it's not only Elsevier content on the platform, there's much more to discover. So we have more than 160 different yeah, publishers, content providers, societies. What you can see on the left-hand side is just a, a little selection of logos and uh, many of those you probably recognize like Wiley, for example, IAAA, NACE, ICME, IET, Ashto, AICHE, and also in June coming is uh, Springer Nature content will be added to the platform. And yeah, the advantage for you is you can consult novel for all your questions and you get really answers from all different content providers listed here. So you, that saves you time because you don't have to go to different platforms. You can really um, yeah, utilize novel in order to get your answers. So again, from June onwards, we will add Springer Nature content. So it's not yet available, but we will add it and there will be probably also some uh, promotion around it. So you might see a pop-up or an email coming by that will remind you of that. Okay, and before we go into our hands-on session, that means we get active. I wanna show you a little video. 
And this is one of the use cases on a very important topic. And just a second, I will optimize sound and video now for this video clip. And one more second, we will then go into the browser and I will run this video for you. And again, I told you it's a very important topic. It's about beer brewing and enjoy the video. For your students to succeed, they need to learn how to get the information they need to independently solve real life problems, big and small. Let's say that for their design project, they want to learn how to brew beer. They need to understand the physical and chemical processes and the tools required, the materials used, and much more. This is a scientific project that starts with an idea. Let's make a brewery, but students need to go back to basics. They don't know anything about the beer brewing process, so they need to find reliable reference works to determine precisely what it is they will do and what steps they will need to take. Then they need to model the brewing process. Let's begin. In Novel, search for beer brewing. The first results are key reference books. Selected chapters help students dig deeper into the steps they need to think about, painting the picture of the process flow diagram, as well as the steps needed to build the brewery. This chapter contains a diagram that explains the process of turning barley into malt, as well as a second figure that helps the student identify and scope out extent of the deliverables they need to shoot for. Additional peer-reviewed content can help them verify this information and identify the specific parameters they need to account for. There are also tools to facilitate citing the information. Here is how this translates into a simple PFD. Barley goes in, process name, malting, result, malt. Malt goes through different processes to become wort. Then wort goes into the fermenter and beer comes out. Then beer goes into carbonation and packaging and results in a sellable product. Let's focus on the first process, barley turning into malt. When looking that up in novel, the student can learn more about the process. The first section shows specific information about what to start with moisture levels, how much water needs to be lost in the system, etc. The PFD can be updated to reflect this information and would now look like this. The process starts with the drying of the barley. Again searching in novel, the student can find dedicated resources for drying and storage of cereal grains and use the insights to plan the process further. When it comes to what fermentation tank to use, it is essential to understand which materials can host a fermentation process. Using property search, students can look up fermenters and find documents around compositions of engineering alloys, then select a material such as stainless steel type 302. This material itself can also be run in the property search which delivers the properties of stainless steels. With Novel, students can design a process from start to finish, just as they would in industry, using information from trusted sources, which professors can verify. Find out more at elsevier.com slash novel. Great, so I know it's a little bit early for a year, so let's stop that. But uh, what I want to give you is also a URL where you can rewatch the videos. And we have a couple of more, as you can still see here. So we have also how to design a bicycle, for example. And if you want to watch those videos, again, that's um, up to you. So I will paste the URL to this website now into the chat. You can pick it up from there. It's It's really available and uh, see what is possible if you have access um, to novel. So that gives you an, an idea on how uh, you can foster innovation in the engineering classroom. 
but back to our workshop today. So we want to get started. And what we want to do is, if you have access, again, you can uh, search along with me. I will close these tabs. And we go to app.novel.com. And this is uh, how we can access Novel if we are within the IP ranges of our institution. And if you joined last week, you know already we have our toolbar here on the left-hand side that gives us access to different tools, functionalities. Uh, you do not have access to everything you see on, on my screen here. So for example, you don't have access to uh, corrosion of the thermodynamic data, but the content you have access is wrote and you can start searching. And that's why we have also a search box here. And here we can start search and you can start searching. And here we can ask cast registry numbers, as you can see here, or we can just enter a couple of keywords. We can use uh, Boolean operators, as you can see here. We can make it an exact phrase search. So we also give you an idea as how to, yeah, start your search on novel. And this is also the very first thing we want to do. And I'm, for example, interested in topics, I had to choose one. So in this case, it's energy transition. So you can search for anything else if you like. I start I start typing energy uh, transition. And you see, while I'm typing, novel brings up different keywords. So if I see something here that's of interest, I can also just click on, like energy transfer, energy transport, energy transmission. But I also see the first resources here, like the material basis of energy transitions, energy efficiency and air transportation. So from here, from the keywords, I would run a search. While I would pick a resource, I would immediately go into a full text title. I also want to remind you that everything on novel is full text. And we cover a broad range of handbooks, databases, conference proceedings, conference papers, but we have also equations on the platform. So and if you see the big picture, so everything that is available, so you have a, se a selection of that, but if you get it all together, you have roughly 13,000 full text titles on the platform in 35 different subject areas. So we serve many different engineering topics. And if you want to continue searching for energy transition, transition, so we have now our keyword here. So we could take the resources, but I want to show you on how a search works. And so we now can hit enter, or we just click on that button here onto the right hand side, and then we see results popping up. And your set of results might look different than mine because I have a different subscription type. But yeah. We see results and you see in my subscription, we have more than 5,800 hits. That is of course a lot and nobody can go through all of it. And that's why we have this filter set here, these facets on the left-hand side. And here you can select whether you wanna see full books that are dealing with energy transition, but also we have a lot of case studies on the platform that could be of interest also for a study project, for example. Chapter, I get a lot of really good feedback on the chapter filter because you do not always need a full book in order to get an answer to your question. That's why I also want to highlight the chapters here. And in this case, you see with 5,057 chapters, but we have also conference papers, conference proceedings, dictionaries, uh, encyclopedia results, graphs, regulatory information, also table information. And yeah, it's just checking the box and then apply this filter. But you can also go further down. We have also relevant engineering concepts related to your search you can select. Or if you're interested in a very specific industry, and this is also a rather new functionality on novel, so we added this industry filter. And then you can choose your industry if needed. And I believe date and author is uh, rather self-explanatory. So we stick to the content type. And here we want to check here we want to filter on the chapter. So we apply now this filter. And in my subscription, we have 5,057 chapters 
dealing with energy transition. And of course, we could still add other keywords to limit it further down. But from here, we could now go into the full text. That would be the next step. And if you if you choose one, for example, here, the supporting subsurface energy storage for global energy transition, then we can click on here. And in the next step, we would go into the full text and we can start reading. So now I, I searched, I filtered on the chapter level, and now I can read my chapter dealing with the energy transition from this specific title, chapter 1.4. And we have functionalities like we can add annotations here, we can highlight text, we can save it into folders. This is also something I showed last week. So if you want to watch the recording, feel free to do that. But we can also easily get the citation out of novel. We can download PDF files from here. So a chapter as a PDF is no problem. But we can also share this content or open it as a PDF. But this is not what we want to do today. So we go one step back. So you can always use the browser navigation on novel. And we go back to the results. And what I want you to do now is the following. So you saw me that I started here in the beginning. And I also give you that link in a minute and I typed in energy transition. What I want you to do now is the following. So first of all, I give you the link to novel, copy into the chat box. There we go. And if, if you have access, you can use it. And I will show a, a slide. What I want you to do in the next minute is you don't search for energy transition. You search for circular economy. Can you see that here, circular economy? Here is the laser pointer. That's your search term. So you use the link from the chat I just gave you. You search for circular economy and you filter on the chapter. And then you let me know how many chapters you find for circular economy. So and I have a timer and I give you one minute to do that. So take your time. I will now be quiet for, for this minute to give you some focus time so you can run that search on normal. And if you have the result, please paste it in the chat box. So we have 30 seconds left. If you didn't manage to do it, no, no worries. That's perfectly fine. I will now show you anyway how it's done. But I will have a look into the chat box if we have a couple of, of uh, results. This is already the next one. So we go back. So of course, we have all different subscription and some have more chapters, some have less chapters. But what I want to illustrate with this exercise is how easy you can search. And I bring up my novel again. And here we wanted to search for, again, for circular economy. And you see, you're on novel, you type, and again, novel suggesting me different resources, Econo me. And if I hit enter, then in my subscription, I first of all get a lot of results, more than 640. But if I'm here on the chapter level, I have 559. Again, I told you that's not a big problem if you have a different um, count, because you might have a different subscription than I do. But again, it's about searching, reviewing the results, and also filter down on or using, taking advantage of these filters we have here on the left-hand side. And we see we have lots of good resources also around the circular economy. And we could start reading on that topic here. For example, we have a um, chapter dealing with the circular materials economy from materials and sustainable development, the second edition. So this is also something that is of interest. So. Um, I will have a look now at 
the next one here. And in the next step, we don't want to use the text search. We want to use the property search. Yeah, And the property search is something you can access through the toolbar here on the left-hand side. And if you click here on the property search, then we get a slightly different user interface here. We can add a material or substance name, as you can see here. And that can be a CAS number again, as you can see here, or a formula, or just also text. Or you can also leave it empty in your case. So if you just know the properties you want to work with and you're looking for a material that has certain properties, then you can also just drag and drop these over here. But in my case, I'm looking for C3FA. So this is octafluoropropane. So I click enter. And I'm interested here in the vapor pressure. So I can go, now go through the properties. And in this case, I want to see vapor pressure. And I drag and drop vapor pressure from the right to the left here in the middle. And I get six table graph results. So in this case, we do not expect text. We expect results from tables or graphs. And that's the biggest advantage from this, uh, this property search because we digitize a lot of table information from those handbooks we have on Novel. So because we know there's really good content mostly hidden in these tables and they're very hard to find them through PDFs or PNGs or JPEGs, we make it possible so you can find substances and materials. So, but let's have a look at the results. And we're taking here table 12, vapor pressure for organic compounds. And this is taken from yours, critical property data for chemical engineers and chemists. And we open that result. No worries if that goes too fast. I will also share this link uh, in a few minutes with you. And we have now one set of information in this table, so one line here. And in this line, we see a lot of information from the substance name over the Cas number, the molecular weight. But we were interested in the vapor pressure. And we have also an equation plotter that is attached here. And we open this equation plotter if you click here on that sign. And in the next step, we will see our equation plotter. And on the left-hand side, we can now change our variables, so the units. And in this case, we don't want to work with degree Celsius, as you can see here. We want to work with a degree Fahrenheit. And the Y unit, so the unit for the pressure, we want to change to PSIA. And in my case, I want to now find out what the vapor pressure is of C3F8 at 100 20 degree Fahrenheit. So I can now go over here to my graph. And this is also one of the biggest advantages in novel. You do not have to print it. You can just, and then go over with ruler and pencil. You can just do it in a digital way here. And if I'm trying to find a 120 now, so I can just uh, try to find it here. So I can add my data points here, but it's very hard to be precise. So what I can do is, and you can see here on the left-hand side, X and Y values will appear once you hover over the graph and, and set up um, the data points. You can clear that again and just set add point. And we want to add point 120. And then we see we have added our data point here, and we see the vapor pressure is 235.7 PSIA. So um, time for the next exercise. So I will give you that link now into the chat box, copy. Chat is here, so you can pick it up from there. And then I will do the following, share my slide again. So what we want to do is now in the next exercise, we want to do what I just did, but with a different value for the temperature. 
So we want to calculate the vapor pressure of octafluoropropane again in PSIA, not at 120 degree Fahrenheit, but at 130 degree Fahrenheit. So what you need to do is now you add a point at 130 instead of 120. And you can use the link from the chat. Make sure you have the right units. So we want to work with PSIA and Fahrenheit and not with um, Celsius uh, like it was preset. And then you click on add point at 130 degree Fahrenheit and let me know what the result is. So the time is running now. So, and again, I give you one minute. And of course, I will show how it's done one more time after the time is up. And if you have the result, you can also share it already in the chat. Um, roughly 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. And the time is up. Oh, thanks, Paula, for sharing it. I saw I just shared it only with the with the panelists and the organizers. So next link I will definitely share with uh, with everyone. Apologies uh, for that. Okay, great. Let's have a look at the results. So we go into one more second into a novel. Here we go. So again, you use the link from the chat. You changed the units from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit and here to PSIA. We clear our data here now. So we could again do it manually if we hover over the graphs and pick up a data point. But if we now add a point here, we just add 130. We enter and we see we have 267.7 PSIA. And of course, if you like to present that, it can be exported. So you see, you get two different files here. So one file for the data, X and Y values, as Excel, HTML, or ASCII text. And the graph itself can also be exported as JPEG, GIF, or PNG. Okay. If you struggle at some point and you don't know what to do another anymore, because this is, I can imagine if you see it for the first time, rather complicated. So there's, in this case, a how to use option here. So that tells you what you can do here at this point. Or you watch a little tutorial video that shows you what the options are at this point. Let's continue. You've probably also seen that we have equations on the platform. And let's have a look at the, at the equations now. So we click on equations. We go to the equations homepage. And there we get also a selection of different subject areas. And if you noticed earlier, if you search on novel in the set of results, you also get the filter for equations. So if you know that already, then you can also use the search and you get related equations to that. And here, feel free to browse around and see what's available. Today, I will focus on chemistry and chemical engineering. And here, we get 269 equations. And we can have a look, for example, at the Antoine equation. And this is what we're going to do today. But feel also free to have a look at other equations here. You can't break anything. And this time we choose Antoine equation. And we see that. 
the equation describes the relation between vapor pressure and temperature of, uh, for pure components. The internal equation is derived from the closest Clapeyron relation. And here we see the actual equation. And now we can also open a worksheet. If we want to work with it, then we open the worksheet. And what we see here is a little introduction to that equation. This is how it looks like. We get the legend with the variables and units here. And the actual calculation. And here you see we've prepared this calculation already for you with the result on here. And you can easily change now your variables. And you see that you can, for example, change the temperature. And this is also why what I will ask you next to change the temperature. And I change it now to from 120 degrees Celsius to 100. So I just click on it, enter it, and you see that also my result changed here. But you can also change all the other variables in here. This is what you need. And keep in mind, this is really just only one equation I want to show you. I think in total, we have more than 3,000 equations on the platform. It is there for you, so you don't have to set up yourself, but you can. Of course, we have uh, little helpers here on the right-hand side, helping you with uh, arithmetic, matrices, Boolean logic, functions, and so on and so forth. And you can also change, adapt these equations as you like. But in this case, we want to focus on the Antoine equation and the temperature we want to change here. And again, it was at 120, oops, 120 degrees Celsius. And this is all you have to do. And then you see the result here. So what I want you to do next is the following. So you take the URL now from the chat box, please. And I make sure I will now share it with everyone. Yeah. So you go there to the Antoine equation. And then I would like you to here we go. Change the temperature as I just did. Now I change it from 120 to 100. I want you to change it to 130 degrees Celsius. And then please paste the result into the chat box. So please use the link from the chat. You navigate to TI and you enter the value 130. And then please let me know what the result is. Just paste it into the chat box. So pick the link from the chat go to the temperature and then add 130 and tell me what the result is. Just copy and paste it into the chat box. And afterwards I will show you again how it's done. So we have 45 seconds left. And the time is up. And I will go now back into novel and see. So we're still here at the Antoine equation. We have the calculation down here and we click here on TI. And instead of 120, we click on 130 and we click on enter and we see our result down here. So it's 575.1472 kilopascal. And this is our re result. We have also a tutorial on the equations in our support center. And I can imagine it's also, if you see it for the first time, quite a lot. So, but feel free to have a look at this tutorial again, that shows you all the options. So we move on to the next task and I just lost my mouse. Apologies for that. So there we go. 
And we want to have a look at another tool on novel. So since I think last year, we have brought back our steam calculator. And you find the steam calculator. So if you're working with water or steam under more tools, now here's our steam calculator. Again, you click on more tools and here's the steam calculator. No worries if you search for something like steam or water, we will also bring it up in the results. And what we can do here is we can easily calculate, yeah, different properties of water and steam. And what we want to do is now we are interested in the transport properties of water. So again, we have in total eight of these uh, eight of these calculators. And here we have a little introduction again, so you can watch that after our session. And we click on the transport properties. And here we can now add pressure and temperature. And novel will calculate the rest for us. And what we're interested in this exercise are or is the speed of sound so we can calculate that so in this case we have a pressure of 10 megapascal we add the 10 megapascal and we have the temperature of a 350 degrees celsius so we change from kelvin to celsius 350 and then we just hit calculate and that's all we have to do. Or we just take 300 degrees Celsius. So we calculate and we see that the speed of sound is 922.76 meters per second. So then it's now time for you again to work with the with the steam calculator and I will now add the link into the chat and you can pick it up from there and what I want you to do is the following so we have the steam calculator so in this case pick up the link from the chat and we're interested now in the speed of sound at 10 megapascal and 350 degrees Celsius. So basically I gave you the answer already before I changed to 300 degrees Celsius, but maybe you wanna do that in this case. So pick the transport properties. That's the calculator you wanna use and enter the values. So 10 megapascal and 350 degrees Celsius and tell me what the result is. So we're interested in the speed of sound and the uh, time is running now. So we have uh, 30 minutes left. Again, we're interested in the transport properties. And we're looking for the speed of sound at 350 degrees Celsius and 10 megapascal. Ten seconds left. And the time is up. I will go back into a novel. I will change. Again, we have the transfer properties under more tools. We have the transfer properties here. We have 10 megapascal as I set up earlier already, but feel free to choose any other unit in here. 300, we wanna use 350, we click enter and we see that we have 534.45 meters per second. And I see also a lot of uh, correct results in the chat. Great, thanks for participating. And this is our tool to make your life easier. So alternatively, you would have a huge Excel spreadsheet where you have to go through to find the right uh, yeah, properties for water and steam. And this makes it much easier and much faster. I have a, another 
thing prepared for you. That's the last thing. And then we have still time to talk of your, your questions can be answered. And I really need to change the battery of my mouse because it's gone. So, so we go over here and we want to do the following. I also want to show you our pillar pages. So if you are in Novel, you can click on Browse. The next thing is you see an overview on the subject areas you have access. And again, that looks slightly different in your view because you might have a limited selection. But you can follow me and click on Tools and Content. And here we have our engineering overviews. And that can help you reading on a newly topic, on a new topic for you. And you can click on one of these topics here, depending on your interest. And I, for example, want to show you in my case, let's take making sense of data as a good one. So this is also a relatively new one. So we click on this pillar page here. And the whole idea is you can bring yourself up to speed in basically very limited and very, very little time. So you get an introduction to this topic. You get the top industry searches from us here. And this is all interactive. So you can click on, so you can run a search on novel, for example, on artificial intelligence, Python, C++, TensorFlow, IoT, MATLAB, programming analytics. That's all possible. And you also see the trending research here. And you can also click on all these search terms on data sciences, for example, data lake, um, business analytics, depending on what you're interested in. And also machine learning, of course, is covered. And you can start reading about these topics. But we also provide you with a title list for the newly released titles. And we see we have here applied deep learning with TensorFlow, for example, or advanced Python programming, all as a full text available and can be read on novel. So and you can scroll further down. And if you scroll further and further down, you also see the key, key resources for this uh, topic. For example, beginning programming with Python for dummies, data science project with Python. That can also be read in this case. So we have, again, up here an introduction into the topic. We get you the top industry searches, the trending research, and then these reading list and also the newly released titles. And this is also where the next and the last exercise comes into play. I quickly give you the right URL into the chat box. So here's the chat box. So you can pick up the link from the chat right now. And what I want you to do is feel free to scroll down on the link until you reach the engineering overviews. And I will share my slide now again. And in this case, we are not going to make sense of data. What I want you to navigate to is please go to the topic page, energy transition. And there, please go to the section for the newly released titles. And I want to know the first title there. So again, use the link from the chat. You pick the topic page, energy transition, and you scroll down to the relevant section, which would be newly released. And the first title under newly released, please copy and paste it into the chat box. So the time is running now. Again, energy transition, newly released, and tell me the first title. And the time is running now. See the first results coming in already, great. So if you've done already, feel free to browse around the other pillar pages, the other, to other topic pages of something that tickles your interest. And again, don't search for something another you already know, search for something you don't know and see how fast you can 
bring yourself up to speed on a, a new topic. That's the biggest advantage of novel. Again, something you don't know, not something you know. Ten seconds. Great, time is up. Let's have a look. So there is novel again. And again, we can start here in the toolbar on the browse. We have a look at tools and content. And here's also an overview on all the tools that are available to you. Also followed by the content types. And if you scroll down, we see our engineering overviews. And I asked you to navigate to energy transition. And again, the idea of this exercise is to raise awareness for these engineering overviews that can really help you on reading a new topic, for example, and give you also a reading list on relevant resources. Energy transition, again, you get the top industry searches, the trending research around the energies, and a few Scroll further down on the newly released buy a few cells and materials and challenges. And I saw the right answer in the chat already. Great. Thank you for particip participating. And from here, you could also go then directly into the full text if you click here on read and you can read this title there. We have eight minutes left. I want to quickly summarize and then take your questions if you have some. So feel free to copy and paste your, your questions into the chat. Or you can also, if somehow possible, uh, use the Q&A box. And uh, again, Novel offers a variety of full text content from more than 160 different publishers and societies. If you click in Novel on Browse, you see the overview on the subject areas. It starts with A for adhesives, coating, sealants, inks, and it ends with W for welding, engineering, and material sciences and joining. We have also premium offerings, ASCH, ECCPS, ASM, international material selections, and so on. And this package contains roughly 13,000 full text titles covering yeah, different engineering disciplines. Big advantage is here, you can utilize the search of novel to search through all these subject areas at once. So you get relevant results through also proper filtering. You can organize yourself in folders. You can share these folders with study mates, for example, or if you're a lecturer or a teacher, you can also set up folders and share it with your students. There's also the property search. So if you're not so much interested into text or a new topic like uh, project management, like Lean Six Sigma, like the energy transition, like polymer recycling, like uh, any other keyword that comes into mind, you can also use the property search. And here you can really look for material substances as we also did earlier. My novel is where you organize yourself. You have easy access to your folders you set up. If you wanna know how it's done, uh, please watch the recording from last week. Or I will also give you now the link to our support center. And here we have also the 10 top 10 frequently asked questions. And if we choose number five, where can I find video tutorials for novel? So you don't have to watch the whole webinar. We have listed these tutorials here. And the link is now in the chat box. You can take it from there and it's between three and five minutes. We show you how to use the material property search, but also how to use the interactive tools in here and so on and so forth. So please also bookmark that if you wanna easily get back to the video tutorials. So we have also um, equations on the platform. We have a unit converter. So in case you're not familiar with the unit, you can just open it and do your unit conversion in here. And on the more tools, we have also the steam calculators, the periodic table, also the novel browser extension, which I can highly recommend. And also a link to the engineering news feed. So if you're interested in the news around engineering topics, this is also rather new to novel. Click here on the engineering news feed, and this is updated hourly. And you can also select here 
a industry that you're interested in, but also uh, for education, we have a different subset here. And you can see what are the news around the topic. And you can, of course, now search this new field. Okay, five minutes left. So I will check the chat box now or the Q&A box. But if you have questions, feel free to still uh, paste them and I will have a look right away. Or if you want to see something again, it was too fast, for example, then I'm happy to do that. Let's see. I don't see any uh, unanswered questions. Then there's maybe one last thing I want to show you. So you've, you've noticed that there is a lot of um, content on novel. And if we are searching for solar cells, you see there is content sourced from handbooks, from case studies, chapters, conference papers, and so on and so forth. But there's also a very useful addition to novel, which is called Compendex, and you can connect those. So if you want to really have the 360 view on a topic, there's also journals dealing with, in this case, solar cells, as we just searched, but also conferences and also technical standards available. So you can go from the foundational knowledge, which you can clearly find on novel and also the, the properties for materials or substances, over also to the journal content, to the preprints, for example, and also to the technical standards or find content in dissertations, for example. So this is an addition that is also um, available. And I'm not sure if this is a part of your subscription yet, but you can enrich novel even more through um, Compendex in this case. Um, Paula, do we still have questions I did not see? I think not, um, but we have one person who raised a hand natalia okay. i don't know if you have a question but maybe we will just unmute natalia for one moment and just Sounds check good. so natalia you are unmuted right now well you can unmute if you want to ask a question please let us know but maybe it's just an accidentally clicked okay. Yeah, I don't hear Natalia, so <laughs> maybe there's no question. Brilliant. Um, yeah, that's that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed also this interactive session. Again, last week we discussed a little bit more the basics and the overview of novel. Feel free to have a look at that. Or you can now, after this session, go over the, the interactive um, piece again, if you like. So um, thank you for your time today. And uh, I see you next time. And I will hand it back over to uh, Paula. OK, thank you very much, Christian, for uh, delivering this uh, webinar. I think it was very interesting uh, for me, for sure. But I also saw that our uh, participants were quite active with uh, exercises. So thank you all for joining the session and uh, trying to do exercises that uh, that our trainer uh, proposed. That was very nice. And we will keep in touch with you. Like I said, we will receive email coming from me your way, I think, today afternoon. So just wait for uh, recording links and uh, more links with information about the novel database and how to use it. And if you will have any more questions after the sessions, just please remember that you can contact me and we will try to solve your problems. So thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.